Well, now a News Channel 5 building better neighborhood success story. We've all heard of people making a so called citizen's arrest, but how about a group of residents responsible for the arrest of three suspects at two different crime scenes in less than an hour? Troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joins us live from the newsroom. And Joe, residents can really make a difference when it comes to neighborhood safety. Lee, it's true. Tonight's story is proof that when residents take an active role in their neighborhoods, good things start to happen. Residents on Tillman Avenue in Cleveland's Detroit Shoreway neighborhood talked to police after reporting a burglar trying to break into this stretch of homes. Block club members contact their safety coordinator, Jessica Dilworth. She called police, and minutes later, an arrest was made. I'm extremely proud of our residents. It never ceases to amaze me. The communication amongst the residents themselves and the collaboration with our police department, our councilman's office, our CDC, it's all about communication sharing. Dilworth is responsible for coordinating the Detroit Shoreway Development Corporation's 13 block clubs through its website. It's an effort that helped break up a robbery at this Chase Bank just a half mile from the burglary attempt. Residents got involved. The residents uh, who saw one of the suspects flee the bank, followed him on a bike, called 911, and was able to uh, give a good description. And, you know, within 15 minutes, the police uh, arrested the individual. Ward 15 Councilman Matt Zone urged residents to form block clubs. He also invited residents to take action and volunteer in their communities through News Channel 5's Building Better Neighborhoods initiative. Sure, the whole concept behind uh, building better neighborhoods, and I'm glad that TV5 is really doing a focus in, on the building and housing stock. Uh, and, and trying to help us uh, make it better. But a, a key component to that are the people who live in the houses and around the houses and in our neighborhoods. I mean, this is our neighborhood. We can't just rely on the police to help us make the na neighborhood safer. We need the residents. And in both of these situations, the residents really stepped up, and that's how we were able to arrest the bad guy. Meanwhile, if you want to take action in your neighborhood, you can do it through our Building Better Neighborhoods initiative. Log on to newsnet5.com slash BBN to find out how you can volunteer. And if you have a vacant home on your block, let us know by sending an email to BBN at WEWS.com. We'll forward that information to your city building department. I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Thanks, Joe.